Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. If you're new here, I usually make a lot of lifestyle vlogs, food, all that kind of stuff. But today I wanted to talk about something that I'm really passionate about and I want more people to know because if I had known, it would have been helpful if I had known earlier. So this is like a very exciting video but I'm also kind of nervous because I don't think I'm an expert in this field. I just want to share with you guys what I did and how I was successful in paying off my loan. So as you can see by the title I actually just paid off my loan, um, my student loan that I had $25,000 left on last May and I paid that off in a year which is crazy. Like what the heck? I honestly can't like, I don't know how to feel. It's kind of emotional, but very exciting. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys kind of what I did, and I want to give you tangible tips that you can go and use because I hate nothing more than watching a helpful video that doesn't even tell you, like, where to start, what to do, like, how how is this supposed to help me? So I'm going to give you guys things that you can actually go out and, like, start, or not go out, stay inside and start today. <sighs> Yeah, so let's get into it. Not that many people talk about money and it shouldn't be taboo because we all have it, we all want it, we all need it. So, let's go. So the first thing you need, this is kind of not tough love, but kind of tough love. You have to start living within your means. So that just means if you can't afford a $500 TV, don't put on your credit card if you can't pay it off. So I never put anything on my credit card that I can't pay off that day. I just think it's uh, it's so dangerous if you're putting like if you're going on $500 shopping sprees, putting that on and saying I'll pay it off in a couple weeks. Like don't do that. Credit card debt has such high interest and it just puts you in a really dangerous spot, especially if you keep piling it on. It just adds up really quickly. So live within your means. If you want something, save up for it and then buy it. Like if you want a new camera or if you want a new pair of shoes, save up for it until you have the money. It'll wait for you. You don't need it right away. So it's hard because impulse buying is so easy, but you just have to be tough. You need to have discipline in order to pay off debt. It's not easy because no one would be in debt if it's easy. So have your willpower be determined like if you're not ready to commit to paying off loans or debt honestly this video is probably not for you <laughs> i know it is hard when you're seeing your friends buy all these expensive things but they might not be able to afford it either you know like just because someone has a shiny new car shiny new home doesn't mean they are debt free so make your goal if you want to be debt free you can do it it's you seriously you can do it <laughs> the next step is to choose which debt you want to start with the best way to do this is pick the debt that is the highest interest rate so i personally picked my student loan because it was the highest interest rate and I was actually paying $5 a day in interest. That adds up to almost $2,000 per year on nothing. I was paying $300 a month monthly payments and only $200 of that was going towards my actual primary. So the rest was almost almost $100 was going towards just interest. Isn't that crazy? So that's kind of what sparked my want and like spark my fire to pay off my loan because I honestly could not believe that hundred dollars of my hard-earned money was going towards interest and it wasn't even going towards paying off my freaking debt so pick your highest one credit cards have really high interest so if you have some credit card debt your student loan like they have pretty high interest rates your car you might want to pay off I'm not sure it's definitely dependent on what kind of debt you have right now pick which debt you want to focus on first once you know which debt you're going to pay off, you have to figure out how much you're going to pay. I actually think that it's most important to pay some towards your debt and pay some towards building an emergency fund. So essentially an emergency fund is you have the money for three to six months of your expenses in your bank account. Like that's easily accessible. What I would do is pay 75% 
of my money towards my debt and then 25% towards building an emergency fund just because it gives you a cushion in case anything happens. That's like your car breaks down, you lose your job, crazy things that you just would never expect to happen but they do happen obviously you guys know what we're going through right now so this just kind of helps you out and it's a lot less stressful it's how i would handle that and then the number side you have to set a goal so i did in one year from last may i want to pay off my loan i took the twenty five thousand dollars i divided it by the 12 months that i wanted to pay it off by and that's how I got my number that I need to pay per month. You treat that number like a bill. It's not, oh, if I have extra money, I'll just put it on. That's how I'll pay it off. Like, it'll take so much longer to pay off your debt if you don't have a set number. If you get the $1,000 a month, that's your number, put your money in that first. So maybe you get paid every two weeks. Set it up so $500 automatically comes out of your bank account and gets put into your debt. Like, make sure that's a bill. Don't be willy-nilly pay that as a bill. Like, same as your car payment, same as your mortgage or your rent. That debt payment is now, yeah, your bill. In order to make your goal, you definitely need to know a rough estimate of your expenses and your income coming in. I honestly don't stick to a strict budget. I just know how much my expenses are coming out of my account. So I'm not sure if you guys want me to go more in detail in how I do that, but essentially I just add up all your expenses, your car payment, your loan, your debt, your mortgage, your rent, all of that, and then the rest of the money you have left over after your expenses come out, that's how you buy food, you go um, out for dinner if you have money left, but I always pay my bills first. I know I wouldn't be able to stick to or I wouldn't like sticking to a super extreme budget so I just use more of the reverse budget yeah I can make a whole new video about reverse budgeting just comment below if you do want to learn more about that another tip that I wanted to share with you guys is that if you have a like chunk of money just sitting in your savings account aside from your emergency fund but if you just have some extra money that you've been holding on to just put that on your loan. I kind of had the money mindset to hold on to my money. Like I was scared that I wouldn't get more. I was scared it would just go away and never come back, but your money comes back. If you have extra money, put it on your loan, get it over with, at least you're paying down interest and you'll get that money back. It's, I guess it was kind of a security blanket to me, but I put everything I had on aside from my emergency fund. I don't know, I feel like when I started this journey, I needed to hear that. So if there's at least one other person who's kind of like that as well, hopefully that helps. Once you know how much you're gonna pay off a month, you gotta go to town. I know it sounds really simple, but honestly, you just need to make a goal and actually stick to it. If you write your goal down, then you're a lot more likely to actually complete your goal. So write it down. I wrote mine down and I put it on Instagram. I told my friends, I told my family, like tell everyone. Scream from the freaking rooftops, you guys. You got this. But um, yeah, so that's kind of, I know it's kind of simple, but it honestly is simple. You just need to put your mind to it. Live within your means, live within your means, live within your means. Like that's the one takeaway. I know it's freaking hard i had to i honestly stopped shopping i hardly bought any like i bought some clothes but not um what i was doing the year before i just tried to be more grateful for the things i do have and want less once you pay off your first highest interest debt then you move on to the next do that until you pay off all your debt you have a nice little emergency fund and then you start investing so i'm not going to go into investing in this video but if you guys want me to go into that more then let me know i will i can make a whole video about it one of the best things i did was add up how much interest i'm paying i feel like that motivation was what i needed to start going and keep going yeah find your why set a goal and if you need help let me know. I can try to help as much as I can. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got some information out of it. 
and if you haven't already don't forget to like and subscribe i love you guys and good luck on your money journey i can't wait till we're all loaded show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds